Neil, the World Championships around the corner. How excited are you? I'm, yeah, I'm thrilled at the, the sort of opportunity that's that's coming my way. I'm, I can't wait to get on the start line. Basically, it's still another two weeks, but I'm sure it's going to fly by. Yeah, you're at Old Camp in Dubai. What will these, this week or so involve for you? It's going to be kind of the finishing touches in training. There's going to be a couple of key sessions, just not to go too crazy on, just to get the, the the required work done. It's a bit of speed work, just to make sure everything's kind of firing come uh, come those heats in the third of October. Coming together as part of a great Britain team, still, still relatively new for yourself. Is that a special feeling? Yeah. Just having that, that, that wearing the kit and feeling the sort of presence of everyone around you. Yeah, I mean, it's my first uh, major championship on the global level, um, and it's certainly an opportunity to sort of write the, uh, the, the sort of the, the downs, as it were, from the European indoors where I wasn't able to compete in the final. So this is absolutely an opportunity to to, to, to sort of put that in the past and, and, and move on to bigger and better things uh, at these championships. Just to chat a little bit about Glasgow, how do you kind of, how do you feel about that looking back? Because obviously there was, you know, a lot of build-up around yourself. Uh, how do you feel about that experience looking back at it? I don't know if I'll ever get over it, to be honest. It was something that, uh, just because it was in Glasgow, in my hometown, um, there might not be an opportunity like that ever again, kind of in, in my sport, because you know, you know, you're only in it for so long. But uh, at the same time, once I sort of got over that initial kind of, you know, feeling sorry for myself stage, it's kind of a source of, sort of, source of motivation in a sense, because you are only in this sport for so long, so you can't kind of take these opportunities for granted. Even when you're at the championships, you, 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 there, no one's got entitled to anything in this sport, so it's a case of making sure the motivation's there and to get every little small thing right and make sure that there's nothing left to chance when I, when I line up on the start line. So, so having moved on from Glasgow, you put in the performances this summer that suggest that's very much you know, in your past. And you feel like what you've already done is moved on from that and put, and put times there that sort of speak to, to your, your moulding as an athlete. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's kind of the only way to move on from it is to, to perform at an even sort of higher level because, you know, it did sting afterwards after Glasgow and it was, there was a time there where I was feeling, you know, as I said, kind of sorry for myself, but I had to get over that because the only way to get over it really was, was, to, was to perform better and achieve sort of greater things in the sport. So that's absolutely what I'm trying to do at this stage. Yeah, you had the standard by mid-June, so kind of you've already laid down markers. Mm -hmm. So tell me about the season as a whole, the outdoor season. It was actually a little up and down. I had a bit of a lull uh, mid-season. The anniversary games, um, I came and ran the mile and finished last by a good, <laughs> good stretch. And uh, it kind of came at the right time because it, it, it identified that I was kind of training almost a bit too hard, almost kind of on the back of Glasgow, just trying to force things maybe a bit too much. And I was able to kind of step back from training a bit and got my legs under me again a little bit. So it, it came at the right time. It's almost sometimes you need these kind of wake up calls. So we had a little lull in the middle of the season, but I already had my standards. So I just needed to make sure I stayed the course. And, uh, and sure enough, when I did start backing off the training a little bit and putting in the specific work towards, towards the British Championships, I felt like myself again and I was, I was really ready to go. It's a bit of a rocky road to Doha. What, do you, what resources do you draw upon? I mean, it's, it's almost kind of looking back to Glasgow, as I said, and, and thinking that, well, I mean, these, these opportunities just don't come around that often, and you only get so many in your career, so I'm going to make sure I'm doing all the small things, all the little things to make sure that nothing's left a chance this time. There's, there's no way, nothing separating me and, and, and the racing I'm going to do. So, World Championships debut, what does that mean to yourself? A huge amount. I mean, gosh, if you told me that, Ten years ago, I wouldn't have believed you. I, I, I wasn't that talent. I wasn't a talented teenager at all, not by any stretch. I wouldn't say I'm even that talented now. I just worked blooming hard. Uh, but I suppose everybody, everybody does. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's just looking back. It's quite wild thinking that I'll be lining up at one of these championships because it's the kind of thing I used to watch on TV and think, wow. I mean, those kind of people that get to line up there—that's pretty special. And yeah, to do it to do it myself is, is something else, and I'm really excited to do so. Yeah, I think I've seen you say you kind of snuck up on people a little bit. You mentioned that. Sort of yeah. Thing. So do you feel how does that sit with you? Is that something you're comfortable with? Absolutely. Yeah, I love coming in under the radar, and uh, I think almost by having that sort of poor performance in London, I was able to make sure I was coming in under the radar again. It's like a, it's like a habit almost. I'm sure coming into the World Championships, I'm still a little bit under the radar as well. I don't have one of the fastest times, but that's okay. I mean, if people want to overlook me, that's perfect. That's okay with me. 
um, and, and I'll be making sure I, I sneak up on them in the, in the home straight again. <laughs> I was going to ask about expectation. It sounds like you're setting it quite low. So, but you know, if, if you get through the heats and standings and final, you're able to shout. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, the, the great thing about the sport is that you don't get any advantages when you when you line up on the start line. No one starts with any kind of uh, any kind of advantage. So. I'm absolutely, the goal is to be in that final and uh, when you're in that final then there's nothing else to do but compete for a medal, so no, no, the, the goal is to make the final and, and, and be competitive for a medal, otherwise there'd be no, no point in being here.